I'm from Tutti Fruity and Wrong Ensemble, and today I'm going to tell you a story as part of the Leeds Library's Summer Holiday Programme. The story I'm going to tell you is an abridged version of the play Rapunzel by Mike Kenny, and afterwards there'll be an activity that you can do. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> story of a girl and her nan. The girl was called Rapunzel and this is how her story started. Nan was doing a big clean up. This is when Rapunzel was a baby. She used to sleep in a cardboard box. Now Nan wanted to clean the floor so she took the box and she put it on a shelf out of the way so Rapunzel would be safe. And that's how it started. And once Nan had started, she couldn't stop. She wanted to get higher. When Rapunzel was one, she didn't have any hair. So she pulled her Nan's. Ooh. <laughs> so Nan picked her up and took her to the window showed her the moon and sang to her. The moon comes up, the sun goes down, but still the world keeps turning round and round. The world's a disgrace, it's a scary old place. Everything is moil and muddle, but high up here, there's nothing to fear. I'll make it better with a cuddle. The moon comes up, the sun goes down, but still the world keeps turning round and round. Then, when Rapunzel was asleep, Nan would get out her tools and build their tower higher. When Rapunzel was two, she lay in her box and giggled. She was into everything. Nan couldn't put her on a shelf anymore in case she fell off. So she put everything else on her shelf. Rapunzel had hair now. So Nan tied it up out of the way with a ribbon. When Rapunzel was three, She got a new box for her birthday. <sighs> what that? A new box? What for? Anything you like. I'm going outside. Rapunzel stood on it. She leaned out of the window. Nan, what doing? <gasps> Rapunzel, be careful down there. What doing? Building. Building what? Building up. <gasps> Build more. Can't see far enough. When Rapunzel was four, she slept in a bed now. She used her box to keep things in. Nan, let me come building. Nan brought her some sand. and some water. <laughs> oh, she got very dirty. So Nan put her in the bath. When she was dry, she went to the window. Nan brushed her hair. It was starting to get long. When Rapunzel was five, she woke up early. Cock a doo doo! Rapunzel. That's my name. Your mother gave. 
gave it to you. And what does it mean? It's a kind of lettuce. <laughs> it grew in my garden. Your mother loved to eat it. <gasps> but where is she? She went away. <laughs> Far away. <laughs> she left you with me. I promised to look after you. Am I like her? In some ways. Do I look like her? You have her hair. <laughs> look. It touches the ground. Rapunzel went to the window and looked out. She could see a long way now. Past the trees, past the fields, nearly to the town. Will she come back? I don't know. When Rapunzel was six, Her hair was even longer now. Nan plaited it and Rapunzel dipped it in paint and painted pictures of people on her walls. <laughs> she could see even further now, oh, past the trees, even past the town. Oh, what's that? There, far away, sparkling. That's the sea. Is that where my mum went? Over the sea? Yes. She's not coming back, is she? I very much doubt it. Rapunzel got her box out for the first time in a long time. She got in it. How are you feeling? Like I'm too big for this box. What do you call that feeling? Uh, sad. So after a while, Rapunzel got out and never talked about it again. She lived with her nan in their tower. And that was that. Nan, this tower needs to be bigger. I want to see further. When Rapunzel was seven, something happened. She heard children's voices. They were singing. Rapunzel went to the window and looked out. What they were singing wasn't nice. She didn't like it. You won't like it. This was it. to have a big clean up. <laughs> Nan, the children, they called you a witch. Oh, folk will call you all sorts if they don't like you. Makes no odds to me. Oh, did they call you anything? No. Good. I'll keep you safe. Will you chase them away? I don't need to. They think I'm a witch, they run away anyway. <laughs> Nan, I've got something to show you. I can skip with my hair. So she did. Thank you. <laughs> that made me feel better. You do have such beautiful hair. When Rapunzel was eight, she had a growth spurt. She grew taller than her nan. Ooh. And her hair grew two extra metres. Oh, it was long and it was heavy. In winter, she slept under it like a blanket. <laughs> and in the summer, she wound it up and used it as a pillow. <gasps> she began to feed the 
the birds that came to their window. She caught one. And she put it in a cage. Nan had a growth spurt too. She built their tower higher and higher. On a clear day, they could see all the way to the sparkling sea and even past that. What's that? That line between the sea and the sky. That's the horizon, as far as we can see. But what's over the horizon? The rest of the world. You don't want to know. Nan's tower was now so high, her ladder couldn't reach. Rapunzel, let down your hair and let me climb up it. So Rapunzel wrapped her hair around the window catch, threw it out of the window, and Nan climbed up it. When Rapunzel was nine, she had washed her hair. It was hanging out of the window and drying in the sun. The bird was in its cage, singing. She saw someone. A boy. Oi, boy, what are you doing? He stopped. You have nice hair. Then he ran away. Rapunzel looked at her hair. She spread it out. She piled it up. She walked around with it behind her. She danced with it. as usual and brushed it. Ouch. Your hair is very tangled. What have you been up to? Nothing. I've been up to nothing. The bird had stopped singing in its cage. When Rapunzel was ten, she did lots of interesting things with her hair. It was very long now. Nan had stopped building. Bad back. One day, she saw the boy again. Hello, I'm Rapunzel. That's an unusual name. My mum chose it for me. What's your name? It's Raffi. Do you want to come up? No, I'm scared of your Nan. She's a witch. She's not here. Come up. How? There's no door. How'd you get out? Out? I've got to go now. Goodbye. Rapunzel looked at her room at the top of the tower. She looked at the silent pictures of the people she had drawn. When Nan came in, sing the old song. You haven't asked that in a long time. The world's a disgrace. It's a scary old place. Everything is moil and muddle. But high up here, there's nothing to fear. I'll make it better with a cuddle. That night, Rapunzel set the bird free from its cage. When Rapunzel was 11, she had secrets from her nan. She would place one of her old building blocks on the windowsill. This meant that nan was out. When Raffi was walking past, he would see this. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. So Rapunzel wound her hair around the window catch, threw it out, and Raffi climbed up it. They talked. They laughed. <laughs> they played. Hiya! <laughs> oh, 
Rapunzel couldn't run fast because her hair was so heavy. You can see so far from up here. Tell me about the world outside. So Raffi told her all about what there was between the tower and the horizon, and even what he knew of what was over it. Oh, one day I'm going to go there and see it all for myself. Why? Don't you want to see it? No. Rapunzel wasn't so sure about this. So to be on the safe side, she tied him up with her hair. Raffi couldn't move. Let me go. No, you'll leave and you won't come back. That's what people do. I will. I'm happy living here. I, I like it. But you could see the rest of the world. I don't really want to. Rapunzel let him go, of course. He climbed down her hair and promised to come back. He did too, lots of times. When Nan came home that night, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. When she let it down, Nan discovered she dyed it purple. <gasps> your lovely hair, my lovely hair, your lovely hair. Yes, my lovely hair, my hair. It's purple. The birds brought me some berries to dye it with. Lovely, isn't it? When Rapunzel was 12, she decided to have a big clean up. She threw everything out the window. cut off her hair. <sighs> Nan came in. <gasps> Your lovely hair. You cut it off. Why? Nan, it was weighing me down. I, I couldn't run or jump or skip or dance. It took hours to wash it and hours to dry it, hours to brush it and hours to plait it, so I cut it off. It's a new feeling. What do you call that feeling? I call it free. <laughs> what do you call it? I call it lonely. Well, I'm going to climb down it and go outside. No, Rapunzel, don't. I want to see the trees. You can see them from here. I want to touch them, walk around in them, smell them. I want to see the rest of the world. But if you go, you won't come back. Like your mum. I will. I don't know why my mum didn't come back, but I will. So Rapunzel climbed down her hair, walked, around the bottom of the tower and climbed back up. You came back! Of course I did! I'm still just a little girl. I'll wait till I grow up a bit. Tomorrow, I'm going for a walk in the woods and I've got someone for you to meet. He's called Raffi. When Rapunzel grew up, she did go see the rest of the world. And she came back, often tales of her travels. Nan was kept busy. She made a door to the tower. Then she built some stairs up it. She was introduced to Raffi. He said, sorry about the song. And whenever Rapunzel came home, they danced around their tower and sang. The moon comes up, the sun goes down. But still the world keeps turning round and round. The end. Thank you for listening. 
do keep reading and listening to more stories. And if you want to sign up for the Summer Reading Challenge, you can find more information at sillysquad.org.uk. Bye. Hello, everybody. My name's Catherine and I'm a set and costume designer. And today I'm going to chat to you about an activity of making Rapunzel and Rapunzel's Tower. Here's one I've made earlier. And here's Rapunzel. And uh, this is the tower that I'm going to show you how to build today. And we're going to start by making Rapunzel. So what you need to have first is a lollipop stick. And you need to draw around your lollipop stick. And that will help you to make the clothes uh, to go on your little uh, lollipop stick puppet. So uh, on there, we're just going to draw out um, whatever you want Rapunzel to wear, whether it's a t-shirt or dungarees or whatever you fancy uh, your Rapunzel wearing. You're the designer, you choose what she's going to wear. Uh, I'm just going to quickly draw it out. Uh, so I'm just going to give her a nice t-shirt. And you can have a bit more time to think about what colours you want to do it and what shape it might want to be. Um, and then once you've done that, you need to cut it out and stick your little cut out onto your lollipop stick like that with your glue. So just some normal cut stick or you stick will be fine for that. Um, once you've done that, you need to do a little face. Um, so on this one, I've done a little face like this and pop on a little pipe cleaner as hair. I'm just going to show you this bit. So imagine I've got mine all decorated. Just going to wrap your pipe cleaner quite tightly round like this and then keep twirling till you've used nearly all of your pipe cleaner like that. And that's going to be the start of your hair. Then you need to get some string and just tie your string around, wrap it around a few times like this and just knot it on. A little bit fiddly, there we go. And then you need a long length at this end because this is going to help build our tower like this. So you're going to use that string a little bit later. So that's um, the start of our puzzle. I've got one I made over here which I'll just show you. So here she is. We're going to use the string to build our different levels of our tower. Okay. So, the way to do that is just to cut out lots of different shapes. You can use different colours, um, put on different windows, you could do circles, you could do whatever shapes you like. You could do crazy, bendy shapes, um, any, any that you like. And then you just need to decorate it with um, crayons or pens or whatever you've got to hand. I just. Uh, Give you a quick demonstration, really super quick. So you pop on a window, maybe some building block, blocks, uh, some bricks, or some different patterns, whatever you fancy. And then you just attach that onto your string with a little bit of sellotape. Which I'll just do real quick and then attach it onto the door so you can see it better. There we go. So you can make yours as tall as you like um, and as different ones as you like. This one I've made it so that it opens up and inside I've designed a little room. Well this one I've made so it's a little bit more 3D. Um, and I can show you how to make uh, one like that. I think it's called a box fold, this kind of shape like this. And what you need to do is you need to get your A4 sheet of paper and fold it in half. So fold it in half once and then fold again. So you've got your paper folding to four and then unfold so you can see that fold line and snip with your scissors. that fold line and then 
you actually don't need this bit at the edge so you can snip all the way off like that. Open your paper out like this and push that forward and fold. Then you've got Again, decorate it however you like. Perhaps um, you could look around where you live um, and there might be some look at the different buildings and see what shape windows you can spot, whether they've got, um, whether they're circles or they've got um, sort of stone around the outside or a windowsill or um, different shaped windows to inspire your design. Um, And then you can just attach it onto your string to make another level for your tower. You just need to feed it through the hole like that and then tape it into place. I've just done mine super quick, but you can colour yours in, you can make different shapes, you can add whatever you like and then just tape it into place at the top and the bottom like that. yours as decorative as you like, cutting out different shapes to make as many tap, as, many, as, many, as high as you can make it really I think is the best. don't know if you can see that down there. But there you go. Um, so that's it. That's our tower. I hope you have fun making yours. And, uh, Enjoy!